I was tagged in that push-up challenge and my arms are so sore. Hello everyone, my name is May and welcome back to, to this channel, to me. If you may not have realised, we are just about to head into Camp NaNoWriMo. By that I literally mean tomorrow is the first day of Camp NaNoWriMo. Which means I'm also making sure that I edit this video and chuck it up tonight. For anyone who might watch this video later in the years, currently we're in the pandemic of COVID-19. You're wondering what to do while you're sitting at home. You're tired of trying to bond with your fish because it's behind the glass anyway. You keep on telling it it doesn't matter, it can't catch coronavirus. So instead, you've turned to YouTube to tell you what to do. Tomorrow is the first day of Camp NaNoWriMo. Now if you're a novice as to what NaNoWriMo is, NaNoWriMo generally happens in November. It stands for National Novel Writing Month International but it says Nash, just don't worry about it. During the month of November, generally, you write 50,000 words of a first draft of your novel, or manuscript, or screenplay, or whatever you like, you know, whatever floats your boat. But during April and July, there are what are called Camp NaNoWriMo's, which are legitimately, absolutely perfect for what we're currently having to do, which is all sit at home and be far away from each other. Despite that the whole event of NaNoWriMo is all online based, still, if you live in a big enough city, there are generally big NaNoWriMo meetups where everyone will come in and write together and play a few, like, writing games and things like that. But Camp NaNoWriMo tends to be a little bit more chill than the official November one, and therefore it's perfectly, perfectly suited to this kind of where everyone's staying at home and needing to write. So, I am doing Camp NaNoWriMo, and if you would like to join in, now is a great time. How is Camp NaNoWriMo exactly different to regular big NaNoWriMo at the end of the year? There are a few differences that I can at least see, and I could have maybe looked at an article, but I cannot be bothered. So we're just gonna go with the differences that I know. Oh man, get back where you want me to be. The first main difference between Camp NaNoWriMo and November NaNoWriMo being that in Camp NaNoWriMo, you don't have to write 50,000 words. You can write however many thousand words that you like. Leading on from this first fact, you don't actually have to write a first draft. You can edit something. You can just spend time working on something as opposed to word count. Uh, there are lots of different ways that you can actually base progression in a camp NaNoWriMo as opposed to just strict word count, which November NaNoWriMo tends to strictly be based off. The final big thing that especially is different about Camp NaNoWriMo is the fact that you have cabins of people that you're slotted into, and so you're writing with actually a bunch of other people uh, in your, your online cabin. If you don't like those people, if you think they're jerks, you can leave. It doesn't matter, they'll resort you into a new cabin. But your cabin group, you can talk about your writing, what you're doing, and it's kind of a fantastic way to actually connect with other people that are writing. Generally very different things. So much erotica, oh my goodness. Last year, my Camp NaNoWriMo group, I swear most of them were all like, oh yeah, I'm writing like romance, but it's kind of like smutty romance. So you're just like writing erotica. No, no, like a smutty romance. <laughs> so sometimes it's a fantastic way to grow as an understanding of what lots of people like to write. It's much easier to see what they're doing and actually connect with random other writers as opposed to just being like, Um, I tried to convince all my friends to do NaNoWriMo and nobody wants to. That's generally where I see it, trying to convince all my friends to and nobody wants to. So here you don't have to convince your friends to. You do it, you go do NaNoWriMo and you'll suddenly have a bunch of friends that are doing it as well. So now that I've convinced you to do Camp NaNoWriMo, we're now going to turn to a more personal note. What am I doing for Camp NaNoWriMo? I did Camp NaNoWriMo last year in July, and it did not go very well. I think I got like 20,000 words into my thing. The story that I'm going to be working on for April NaNoWriMo 2020 is actually a rewrite of a story that I drafted in NaNoWriMo 2019. I did hit 50k for this story, but it just... It's 50k of words I can't really use. 50k of exploring the ideas. It's 50k of absolute shit. I wondered odds so much about whether I should be rewriting a story, which just for namesake, we're going to call it the cartographer's story. Cartographer meaning the making of maps for those who are illiterate. Wow, that sounded really bitchy. I think being cooped up inside, I've lost all people skills. I'm sorry. Continue writing the cartographer's story and rewrite it from scratch. So I'm not going to use any of the 50,000 words that I wrote uh, in the first NaNoWriMo. I might pull a few scenes and like rewrite the scenes. Um, use them as kind of skeletons, but I think a lot of them, it's not going to be, it's not going to be very useful. Because I'm a crazy person and university is all now online and I really apparently just want to be short-sighted from looking at a screen all day, I've decided that I'm going to kind of split my time between writing the cartographer story and actually just trying to get a draft out for that. Because this is a Camp NaNoWriMo, I would like to spend some time editing the story that I wrote for my 2018 November NaNoWriMo novel. Monsters in the Chimney wants to be edited because I want to query Monsters in the Chimney by the end of the year is like what I've told myself I'm doing. I don't know if that's going to happen. 
happen, but it's what I've told myself I'm doing, so I'm gonna be trying goodness damn hard. I'm gonna do some vlogs for this because I think that'll be super fun. For the first nine days, it's gonna be even funner because I also have a massive assignment that's due. <laughs> Which means that at some point I am gonna have to venture out into the great white world because I have to look at some hematology slides at my university. Hopefully no one else will be there. I don't want to see anyone else. I'm also probably just gonna wear a bag over my head. I'm sorry this was a bit rambly but it's kind of because my light is going. I honestly cannot recommend NaNoWriMo more and I cannot recommend doing a camp NaNoWriMo especially while you are stuck at home. Why not do something that actually you can monumentally mark. This is the story I wrote while I was stuck inside my house, stuck inside my brain. Why don't I escape to a different world, a new world that I have written through my fingers? Like I think that sounds like an amazing idea. Turn the fact that this is a sucky thing into something that at least you can be building life from. Turn those bads into positives. Wow. You can trust me to write words right. I'm so good with words. I think that will be all because my light is disappearing. Thank you everyone for watching. If you are joining in Camp NaNoWriMo, please let me know. Come friend me on the NaNoWriMo forums and we can chat about the words we're writing and do some good old word sprints. Feel free to follow me, especially on Instagram, because I do keep that quite active. So when I'm not vlogging, I probably will post updates on Instagram. Yay. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. A really dumb thing about like having to stay inside is like I put on lipstick and mascara and now I'm just sitting inside for the rest of the day looking like a total idiot being like, oh yeah, let's put this on for me. I mean, I guess that's fine. You do you. But you know, I feel like I'm just going to get this all over my face because I'm a, yeah.